Sarah Trelevin Blackley was born in Clearwater, Florida on February 27, 1971 to Ellen and John Blackley, an artist and trial attorney. Sarah, whose childhood dream was to be an attorney like her father, attended Clearwater High School and graduated from Florida State University with a degree in communication after scoring low on the law admission test. Sarah took a job at Walt Disney World where she worked for three months and occasionally performed as a stand-up comedian. She moved on from Disney to work at an office supply company called Danka, where her job took her from door-to-door -door selling fax machines. Her great sales skills was rewarded with a promotion to a national sales trainer when she was 25 years old. But the downside of the job for her was the fact that she had to wear pantyhose for her work and the Florida climate didn't make it easy. She did not like the seamed foot of the pantyhose when she wore open-toed shoes. Therefore, she tried cutting the feet of the pantyhose and wore them under a different pair of slacks, which gave space for the pantyhose to be rolled up her legs. This turned into an idea for a business for her, but she kept the idea away from her family and friends for a year, fearing that they might prevent her from taking such a risk. She only discussed the idea with her patent lawyers and manufacturers, Sarah then went to North Carolina to present her idea but was rejected by every representative who did not see how the idea would bring any value to the established businesses. She blamed their responses to the fact that they were all men who were manufacturing products they were not using. Two weeks after this rejection, Sarah got a call and support from a meal operator in Ashboro, North Carolina after his three daughters encouraged him to buy into the idea. She started making the first product prototype sooner after and completed it within a year. With this initial success, Sarah finalized her patent application with the United States Patent and Trademark Office and began working on packaging her product. She then got an audience with a representative of Newman Marcus Group and had to change into her product in the presence of the representative at the ladies' restroom to show how effective her product was. Newman Marcus's seven stores began to sell her product after that meeting. She also sent some of the products to Oprah Winfrey's television program, explaining her innovation in a gift card. This led to the presentation of a Spanx product by Oprah in 2000 as the favorite thing, and it went on to bring Sarah significant sales and popularity. At the start of her business, Sarah took charge of all the departments of the business, including logistics, product positioning, marketing, and location setup. However, her then-boyfriend helped her out in running the business after resigning from his job. In its first year, Spanx had $4 million in sales, which increased to $10 million in its second year, and by 2001, Sarah had a signing deal with the home shopping channel QVC. She had ventured into television in 2005, coming second place on television series The Rebel Billionaire as a contestant. She was introduced to Richard Branson on the show, who later greatly supported her work. Sarah starred as a judge and American inventor on ABC reality television series and also did a cameo as herself in Billions season 3 and was a guest inventor on some episodes of Shark Tank. Sarah founded the Sarah Barkley Foundation in 2006 to support women through educational and entrepreneurial training which was sponsored by Richard with a $750,000 check donation. That same year, she was interviewed on the Oprah Winfrey show and made a $1 million donation to the Oprah Winfrey Leadership Academy for Girls. Sarah was on the cover of Forbes 2012 magazine as the youngest self-made female billionaire in the world and listed 93rd most powerful woman in the world. She also voiced her desire to design the world's most comfortable high heels before she retires. That same year, she joined other billionaires in the giving pledge, donating half of her wealth to charity, making her the first female billionaire to do so. Sarah donated $5 million in support of female-run businesses affected by the 2020 coronavirus pandemic. She paid $162,500 for the black pants worn by Olivia Newton-John and gave the proceeds of the auction to Newton-John's Cancer Treatment Center in Australia. Sarah and Jesse Itzler, co-founder of Marquis Jets, married in 2008 and have four children and often speak together at events and conferences on business. They also purchased the Atlanta Hawks for $850 million along with other buyers. 
Sarah, who is the founder of the American apparel company Spanx in Atlanta, Georgia, has a net worth of $1.2 billion. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'll appreciate it if you subscribe to our channel and share this video with your friends. We love you.